HRS that is hepatorenal syndrome liver failure leading to kidney failure in this there occurs splanchnic vasodilation due to which there is functional hypervolemia and decreased supply or hyperperfusion to the kidneys leading to renal impairment now for the diagnosis first and foremost there should be liver cirrhosis with ascites secondly there should be no intrinsic disease of kidney third there should be no shock fourth there should be no nephrotoxic drug fifth there should be no improvement in renal parameters after withdrawal of diuretic now this hrs is two types type 1 it is rapidly progressive and having poor prognosis mortality is more type 2 it is slowly progressive and prognosis is somewhat better than type 1 for the treatment you give volume expander albumin and terlipresin which causes splanchnic vasoconstriction and definitive treatment is liver transplantation